to the podium, the microphone, somebody who has set all kinds of records in high school athletics, particularly football, and particularly at uh, Brother Rice High School. Uh, he's someone who we uh, cherish very much. He set a high example for our kids. And we're talking about Al Fracassa. Let's have a nice welcome for Al. I'm deeply honored to receive this uh, award uh, this morning. And uh, I was uh, particularly impressed with all the wonderful young people who receive scholarships. I think that's great. And uh, I know they all worked very, very hard uh, to get that scholarship, and I wish them all well. Uh, I'm retiring from football after 57 years, and so uh, I'll be able to uh, watch games and not worry anymore. <laughs> Thank you very much for this award. Uh, Ken Cockrell, you all remember Ken as a councilman, as a mayor of Detroit as a community leader who is outspoken and trying to do the best thing for Detroit. We have worked together in this uh, Metro Detroit Youth Day and other areas with the food industry. And I am proud to say to you, we're honoring at this time, Ken Cockrell. Please give him a nice welcome. Ken. Thank you. Thank you very much and good morning. It is really always an honor and a pleasure to be here at Metro Detroit Youth Day. I have lost count of how many times I have attended and participated in this event. And most of the times that I've come here, it's been in a different capacity in the hat that I used to wear as a member of Detroit City Council, coming here to present testimonial resolutions in recognition of Metro Detroit Youth Day. So it's unusual for me to actually be coming here and receiving an award as opposed to presenting one. But I will just say this. You know, I am thankful not only for the award, but also thankful for all of the good work that you continue to do, Ed, and all of the good work that everybody associated with this event does every single year to provide quality entertainment for our young people for a day. It looks like it continues to get bigger and better. I've just been out here for a few minutes, and I've seen things that I've never seen before that I know the kids are enjoying. So I just want to say keep up the good work, and I also want to thank you for all of the good work that you do as far as providing scholarships for our young people as well. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, very proud to present the uh, president of the Detroit City Council, who has been part of our community for a long time, doing the most good for all of us. Very proud to say she's with us today, Brenda Jones. Let's hear it for Brenda. Good morning to everyone. Wouldn't it be something that I would follow Ken Cockrell? After I follow him as being president of the council, my old colleague that I do miss, I would follow him at Metro Youth Day. What a coincidence. But I am here to present the 32nd Annual Metro Detroit Youth Day testimonial resolution on behalf of the city of Detroit, the entire city council, who says thank you for having the Metro Detroit Youth Day. We salute all of the people who are involved in this great event. The sun is coming out now, so we know this is going to be a great day. Congratulations on the 32nd. Thank you for everything you do. I look forward to this event every year. God bless you, and this will continue to go down in history.
honoree I'd like to present for, to you is someone who has distinguished himself following the footsteps of his father. We're talking about Coleman Young, the second, done a great job in this community, and he's uh, fighting for all of us in Lansing at all times, doing all kinds of things. I'd like you to welcome Coleman, Senator Coleman Young, the second. Coleman. Hello, Metro U Day! Hello, Detroit. Listen, I just want to keep this really brief. I just wanted to say that the great thing about this place and this event is that not only are you planting the seeds for our kids to have a good time, but you're also planting the seeds for our kids to be better men and women. And that these kids are not just here just to enjoy the events. They're being taught honor. They're being taught character. They're being taught valor. They're being taught never to give up. They're being taught the necessary life skills that's going to make them better men and women. That's going to make them future leaders of this city, of this state, and of this nation. So I just want to say to Ed Deeb, to everyone that's here on Metro Youth Day, thank you for bridging the gap in the city of Detroit between the promise and the prosperity that this great city has to hold. Be not weary in your well-doing. Continue to do the good work. Continue to be the best there ever is, the best there ever was, and the best there ever will be in terms of reaching out to our young people. Thank you. God bless you. I want to present this state, the tribute to you for the state of Michigan. person that we'd like to uh, present to you is Linda Lee Tarver. She's a commissioner uh, for the state of Michigan, the Department of Civil Rights, and she is here to let us know that she thinks we're doing a good job. I hope she does. So please welcome Linda Lee Trevor. Hello, I'm honored here. Actually, I'm here on, on dual capacity. I represent Secretary of State Ruth Johnson. She wanted me to send well wishes and to provide you with a certificate of appreciation and acknowledgement of the work that you're doing in inspiring our youth to do the most good. She was not able to be here. She wanted me to come here. I happen to be a commissioner with civil rights and on behalf of the Department of Civil Rights, it is wonderful um, what you're doing here and changing lives. I'm honored to be among this great people who have done a great work here in Detroit and in Michigan. And so God bless you, and we thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, we have uh, some other people here with us on stage I want to acknowledge. We have, uh, first of all, Nabi Yono of the Chaldean American Council. We have Amir Denha of the uh, Chaldean Detroit Times. Director Gerard Simon, the Director of Homeland Security and Emergency Management for the City of Detroit. It takes a lot of planning to pull off an event like this, so thank you to everyone who had even a small role in planning and organizing this event today, and I hope you truly enjoy everything that's being presented here today for you. Thank you. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. You can't forget that Bob Ficano. <laughs> thank you. Time is everything, right? Yeah, I, I'm going to be very, very brief. Uh, this is a special uh, proclamation. Ed, come on, let's give him a big hand for all that he does uh, on the Metro Day, saying uh, not only uh, congratulations, but uh, he gives it of his heart, and we appreciate it very, very much. I started coming here when I was sheriff, believe it or not, over 25 years ago, and uh, he has always had the kids first and always uh, maintained that uh, they're the ones that really count. So for all that you contribute to the community and city, congratulations. Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Well, we, we had actually one more person to, to speak, but we'll, we'll see you first since you're here. And then we're going to call on Phil Bertolini of Oakland County. Phil. Uh, on behalf of our county executive, L. Brooks Patterson, we're happy to be here. And this is my first Metro Detroit Youth Day, and it will not be my last. Now, Bob, you talk about young people, and for all the young people that can hear me out there, it is about you. We watched a number of folks get scholarships today to go on and further their education and be the best that they can be, and that's what Metro Detroit Youth Day is all about. I'm proud of my son who's on his way to Schoolcraft College. I'm proud of all the people that have won their scholarships, 
and I want to thank you all for allowing us to share your day with you. So young people, go out and get it. It's all about you, but only you can go out and get it with some help. Thank you. Okay. Um, first of all, you, you recognize these guys here from the Pistons. They, they're great ball players, and you got, of course, Randy, our MC from WDIV. Uh, well, let me just tell you right, right now, we have world champion James Edwards. Let's give James a hand. And you met Earl Kills Earl, he's a two-time world champion. We got Paul Zante, Hooper is somewhere around here. So we want you guys to come on, Hoop. Come on, Paul. Where's Hooper at? So uh, we're having a great time today. Uh, let's give Ed Deeb another good hand. <laughs> Mr. Shabazz is out there. How you doing, sir? All right, God bless you. Okay. I'm going to let Mr. Edwards say something to Earl. How we? How's everybody doing today? On behalf of the Detroit Pistons and Sprite, we're glad to be here today. This is a great event for the youth of Detroit. And I hope everybody has a great day today. They have a lot of activities, so everybody have a great time today. Just to speak on what James just said, it's a great event that's been going on for a lot of years. Over 8,000 children have come out here, and it's just a wonderful thing for Detroit. Being a product of this area, growing up on the east side of Detroit, have an opportunity to do it as a kid, and now coming out to be able to participate in Sprite and the Pistons are proud to be here. Hopefully, it continue to keep going. We have one more uh, honor to provide here, and we have, uh, uh, he couldn't make it, but Benny Napoleon uh, is here, and uh, I mean, he's sent a proclamation for us, and if that would be sent up here, we'll read it. Uh, we got one from the... Uh, Benny Napoleon, we got one from Mayor Duggan, we got one from the Governor, uh, Rick Snyder. We have a lot of uh, recognition from the people in office because you're here and they know that we're trying to do the best for all of you. So thank you, I appreciate that. All right, Marvin Beattie from Great Town. Marvin, come on up here. See, now you, you, you're trying to wait, you gotta come on up here. Come on up here. He's, he's one, of, one of the great guys in the community, uh, one of the big sponsors of Youth Day. But he's a very laid back guy. You got to come say hello to the people. He knows everybody, and he's a sharp dresser. Too bad he's not tall as I am. I take some of that stuff. Let me say good morning to everyone, and what a wonderful day for another Youth Day. And, and this guy right here, exemplifies what youth in Detroit looks like, what it should look like, and, and he's just left a legacy for all of the young people in this town to know that we pay attention to what young people need and what they, and what they say, and all of you are part of a great tradition of what uh, Detroit and young people is all about. So let me just say thank you all. Uh, thank this fine group of leaders here that continue to support youth in this community. God bless you all. Have a great day. Okay, that uh, now does uh, conclude our program. Uh, we're going to ask you.